What's up guys, how's it going? Are you guys looking to find out what's being released this Tuesday? What's coming out this week, this current week in gaming? You've come to the right spot. I'm Mavic Geek, and this is released Tuesday. So first up we have 1954 Alcatraz. It's being released on the PC on March 11th. It's a point and click adventure. You remember those? Those are kind of like very popular in the past. You know, old Sierra games, Quest for Glory, King's Quest, Space Quest, all anything to do with Quest. So this game is being made by the Dalek Entertainment, a German company, so this is an indie game. And like I said, it's being released on the PC. It involves puzzles, it has story, and um, pretty much it's gonna be a swap between two playable characters in this game. They're looking for this loot, I guess, and you happen to be one of the guys that's in prison that knows where the loot's located at, so you're helping the person on the outside, and you'll be switching between both perspectives trying to get this loot because someone's after you. That's kind of all I got from the game. I couldn't find much other information on it, but if you're interested in that, uh, there's a link down below. So next up, we have Windforge, and this is being released on the PC March 11th. It is a 2D side-scrolling game. This game is really weird. I tried to find some information out about it, and from what I've gathered is there are whales flying in the sky, and you have a ship. What you do is you harvest these whales, you attack these whales, you harvest them, you can actually dig inside them, which is kind of weird. That's your source of energy. But apparently whales are being extinct, you're running out of whales, so you need to find something else. And that kind of leads you to another story of finding out, I guess, why whales were being used and so on. So they describe this game as a mix between an RPG, uh, Contra, and Terraria. Terraria. So Vessel is being released for the PlayStation 3 on March 11th. It is a 2D platformer puzzle solving game and very colorful uh, the palette is very colorful the yellows are super bright the greens are really bright this game is a little weird so from what i've gathered there's not too much story to it but what happened is there's this invention that i guess allows liquid or water anything that's liquid to come to life that invention somehow went wrong so you're actually using these sentient liquid forms to kind of solve these puzzles so you can move and progress through the levels. This game is actually an older game. I thought it was a new game, but I found that this actually come, came out in 2012 on the PC, so it's only being released now for the PlayStation 3. So for all you fans of hard punishing games, Dark Souls 2 is being released on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 on March 11th. So this is the sequel to the Dark Souls 1, or just Dark Souls, which came out back in 2011. It's a third-person RPG action game that takes place in this kind of open world. What's neat is that you don't have to play, play the first one. Uh, you don't have to have played Demon's Souls in order to enjoy this one because there's no direct story connection between the two games. It just takes place in the same kind of setting, the same world. But what I've seen in the trailer is going to have dragons, you're going to have a band of enemies you're going to need to fight, and there's some girl, I don't know what she has to do with anything. But this game is known for its difficulty. If you like hard punishing games, if you like games that challenge you, challenge your reflexes, your button mashing or whatever else you want to do, this game is known for that. It's known that you're going to die over and over and over and over again. A lot of trial and error figuring things out and pretty much the story is going to be relayed to you by bits and pieces of information that you gather throughout the game. So if you're interested in the story, you want to chase after that and kind of pay attention to those things. But other than that, it's not going to straight out tell you what's going on. So just keep that in mind, that's, that type, that's what this type of game is. So if you're interested in that, maybe you should pick it up. So last but not least, we have Titanfall being released on the Xbox One and PC March 11th. This game is made by Respawn Entertainment. This game has won over 75 awards. It is a highly anticipated game. So Titanfall is an FPS game, it's a first person shooter. But what makes this different, why everyone's so excited for this game, is that it's changing up the formula of what you normally see in an FPS multiplayer. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is you have a, normally a campaign element and you have a multiplayer element. And then you can pick which one you want to be in. But with Titanfall, they're actually mixing the two. You're going to have all the story, you're going to have all the story elements from a campaign mode mixed in with a multiplayer mode. So you're going to have actual live players you'll be playing against along with NPCs or non-playable characters. You'll still have loadouts, you have different weapons, but now you'll also have mechs. You have these giant mechs called Titans. And these Titans you can either control manually or you can actually put them like kind of an auto mode which will follow you around, uh, defend, uh, kind of acts like as a, a team player, I guess. Another one of the things that are new to the, this kind of genre is pretty much you have a couple of different things here. You have, first of all, a really high jump. You have a, like a three-story jump, from what I understand. Then you have wall running. So you can jump to a wall, run across the wall, jump to another wall, run across the wall. So that kind of element too. You have a double jump. So it's kind of a backpack, I think, like a jetpack. So you jump and you, you jump again, you can go even higher. So you can climb buildings, 
It's a very free-flowing game. It's almost as if there's no stop in the action. That's kind of the point of the game. You're constantly having something to shoot at, constantly running from point A to point B, either fighting Titans, jumping the Titans, uh, controlling your Titans, uh, completing group objectives. It's a ton of stuff going on. If you've ever watched any of the trailers, any of the footage from the beta, there's just so much going on, on screen that there's never a dull moment. That's kind of the point. So that's it for this week's release Tuesday. If you have any questions about any of the games that I talked about in this episode, you can check them out in the description down below. There should be some links. If you have any questions or comments, you can also drop them down in the comment section. I'd be happy to read those and reply back to you with anything that I can. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video as many people as you can. We want to grow this channel. We want to grow it as big as we can. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.